Today, Virginia football flies into a new era with the first game on the renovated and expanded Scott Stadium. The home of Wahoo football is bigger and better with 15,000 additional seats. It even has a bigger name, the Carl Smith Center, home of David A. Harrison the third Field at Scott Stadium, where today Virginia opens its 2000 season against BYU. Down and eight, Tyree Foreman, Malone back. Again out of the gun, Ellis dumps it off. Billy McMullen, a first down and much more. The sophomore all the way out to midfield. Tight ends into the game now for UVA. And it's Harris taking the handoff and first down across the 50. And down at the 45 of line takes great pride in its performances. And our D-line has a lot of pride as well. The catch made, a juggling catch by James. A tackle trying to fill some big shoes. Two tight ends on third and less than the yard. Big hole for Harris. He's going to go. Touchdown, Virginia. Brett Engelman is the quarterback, a sophomore from Provo, Utah. Ryan McDonald opens as the lone back behind him. A quick pass to the sideline to margin hooks. One of the top receivers in the country, Newby and Evans. Hawkins, who board number 80 as a wide receiver his last three years. This is Sataki, the fullback, on first down out near the 30. High risk, high reward, and two true sophomores starting at safety. Engelman wants to throw on first down. He avoided the rush. Now runs with that injured left knee. Get it done. He's got to get mature again in front of a hostile crowd. Shotgun snap. He handled the high snap. He dumped it off to Sataki, and he's dumped short of the first down by Byron Thweet. A little bit of pressure, but Edmonds got it off. Harris called it a fair catch. It takes a nice soft bounce. There's a flag down. The ball goes dead inside the two. Now to play within this system. Antoine Womack in now at tailback, trying to bust it outside. He almost got tackled in the end zone. Now he has the first time. He's in a 99 against Florida State. Ellis after the play action fake. Nice catch by Kevin Coffey using his six foot four inch spins and press box. And on first down for BYU, it's Brett Engeman out in the flat to Kalani Sataki. The fullback tackled almost out and goes at him. Quick pass to the other side to Mike Regal, and he's out of bounds at the 39-yard. Offense trying to find a rhythm here in 2000. Engelman with time, throws short of a first down for the moment, but now Jonathan Pittman has the first down. And here in Charlottesville, it's 7-0 Virginia, but BYU is on the move. Another first down completion as the game wears on. Will Snowden joins McDonald in the backfield now. Engelman with time and a receiver. Short of a first down to the 36 goes the tight. Six straight completions now for Engelman. We'll look to throw again on third down. And another first down. Rigel nearly gave up the first down. The clock down to two. Second and ten. That's a lateral. Jolly one will throw it, I think, but Fleet was there. From the staff at NC State. And the play clock down to two as Engelman took the snap. He's in trouble and sacked. Coach in the NFL, one of the best. He never let his punters punt it down the middle of the field. Arlen Harris turns the corner and had some running room. Games. Okay. Running attack. A pass caught. And third down and short of nine. Harris, the lone back. Very action fit by the senior quarterback, Ellis. He's going deep. And it is caught. Great. Would like to play against BYU. Every game last year, only two receptions out in Provo, but they went for 55 yards. This one almost gets all of that with a 42 yard. What a nice lay. Now back to the ground, a big hole for Ireland Harris. Breaking tackles. Edwards finally able to drag him down, but it's another second quarter. The Cavs trying to add to their lead. On the delay, Walmart. The offensive line doing a great job. Opening hole. Three. At the BYU 20, a little option pitch to Womack. First down inside the 10. And out of bounds near the point. Second and goal. Womack again. Touchdown, Virginia. We've mentioned some of the names, but we don't want to give away. <laughs> the trivia question right now. Look out. Angerman ran into McDonald. A botched handoff attempt. And Angerman. Worst four-game stretch ever under Lavelle. 
And that problem continues today. Engeman on third and a mile. Intercepted. Tim Sproul made the play. Touchdown. That was one of his best games. He also scored a touchdown and a recovered lateral. Tyree Foreman, the third part. Tyree Foreman, who hasn't had much time up to now. This is his third year in the program. He's gonna. He's a very versatile and probably a, one of our smartest football players. As in his face, he knows who to dump it to. Virginia trying to open up a big first half lead. Here's that unsung hero, Foreman, scoring a touchdown. The 300 yards per game passing. And they haven't been able to kick it into gear here today. There's a timely pass from Engeman. Ryan McDonald, the tailback, following the block and a good one from the fullback, Sataki. First down. As long as he was healthy, so hats off to him, but I wonder how healthy he is right now. He clearly played better than Charlie Peterson last week against the Seminoles. Has no way to throw it. Finally shovels it to Sataki. He's out to the 42-yard line. Years there. They empty the backfield. They go to the quick pass to Mike Regal. And he's just short of the first down. They have it second down and six near midfield. Engeman under a heavy rush gets it off. Oh, for Hengawe, the tight end with a nifty move. And that move yielded lots more yardage down to the seventh. Second time this season. Engeman in the flat. Nice catch by Regal. Lost the football. Virginia seems to have it. And they do. Another shot into their own foot from the Cougar offense. And here's Womack. Evans had a huge game last year against Brigham Young. Nice moves by Womack. First down. And Virginia. Now it is 18th season on this beautiful campus. Womack on first and forever. Gets half of forever. Engelman on first down. Pump fake. Worked out. Nearly stripped. Sack. Ed Staminich is one of those guys who doesn't have enough talent to be good. He just doesn't know it. On second and long, there he is again, Staminich with another sack. Scores and highlights, and Terry will examine the role of the quarterback in the 21st century. That's coming up in second. Engeman throwing the deep ball, and it is underthrown, and caught by Pittman onto the floor. year that Spruill had last year, it's because he's one of those corners who's high risk, high reward. Again, an underthrown pass by Ingeman and Spruill not able. Last time he had the one hit interception, that time it bounced by. Ingeman tells the center to snap it. Here comes the blitz, and Ingeman's down. Ubreno Isabel, the middle linebacker. Back at the 42-yard line of the Cougars on the final play of the first half. One to nothing lead over Brigham Young University. Sean McDonough and Ed Cunningham, we talked at the top of the telecast about Virginia's challenge of replacing the one by Thomas Jones with three players, and all three were terrific. And Arlen Harris gets in a touchdown in the exact same play run to the other side. Antoine Womack goes in. Tyree Foreman, who we didn't think was going to get the ball much in the first half. Harris goes down with a little bit of an ankle sprain, runs in. Lumberjean, over seven yards per carry, very productive on the ground. Combined for 159 yards rushing. Jones. The end of the half, eight yards every time Virginia snaps the ball. They've been very efficient and shown a lot of different looks to Brigham Young. Red Engeman. Looking to throw on first down. He was very accurate in the first half, and he's... On target to Jonathan Pittman with some running room out of bounds with a first down. Against this Virginia ground attack, and they just haven't been able to get down Womack Harris or Foreman. On offense, he said he's just looking for better execution. They're executing now. Here's margin of hooks. Against Florida State, they run a layered route across the front. Jerton Evans allows hooks to go in front of him. He is in camp. He held off a guy that everyone expected to be in the starting lineup. Second and six, they bring the heat. Engeman bounced off the rush, throws a completion for a first down to Soren Halliday. Dodging that rush. Really not. The blitz comes from Byron Thweet on the left side. He ducked his head. That's a mistake as a linebacker. You don't have to go for the big hit, just make the sack. But that is what impressed the BYU coaches. A goal from the six. Lots of noise from this big crowd. They go to the ground game. McDonald. Touchdown, the first of the season. First in 10 quarters. And McDonald has his first Cougar touchdown. 
The extra point good from Owen Potchman. And it's 21 to 7, Virginia. Left in the second quarter, all the way to a minute 11 left of the ball game. And Ellis under pressure throws caught. Momentum has shifted to the side of the Cougars, and it continues as margin hooks. Breaks several tackles. Second down and three. Play clock down to one. Engelman just did get it off. Again, they bring pressure. He has his man. Doug Jolly, the tight end with a first down. You got pressure coming here, pressure coming here. It opens up the middle. You Brenna Isabel, the middle linebacker, made the mistake of creeping up in towards the line of scrimmage. And Jolly sneaks right behind him. Ingeman for years. Numbers starting to add up now for Ingeman. Goes to the quick pop to Regal across midfield. Number 13. The arms of second down and one. Crowd a little restless now as momentum is shifted toward BYU. McDonald with a first down, breaking tackles. Lost a shoe. <laughs> and McDonald out of throwing so many moves. Again, Sataki, the fullback, doesn't get a great block, but the safety newbie just ran himself out of the play. And there comes the shoe. It was a shoestring attempt. Not yet midway through the third quarter, 21-0 Virginia. The Cavaliers led 21 to nothing at the half. 21-7 now. Marcus Whalen for the ladder. Freaking in Jacksonville in the Pigskin Classic. Two Florida State. Now second and 11. He was looking in the flat. Throws over the middle. Jonathan Pittman inside the 10. Out of bounds. It's going to take just a second to develop. Four wide out. Ingeman was looking for the screen. And Spruill right there just gets cut down on the crossing route did not see the receiver coming over good call by the official Pittman's foot was out first and goal McDonald to the goal line touchdown BYU <laughs> a very very good ba backup but it all starts at the fullback position Kalani Sataki takes on the outside linebacker. It's favor, loss of one on the first down carry by Harris. And Ellis throws, caught by Kevin Coffey. Well short of a first gun. Three wide receivers. The pressure picked up. Ellis had time, throws, caught! Big first down. So BYU a little picked up after Florida State. Second and 10, and there's Isaac Kelly with the sack. The linebacker. I think he had 132 yard edge in total offense at the half. Now they're being out game for the game. Nifty footwork by Kalani Sataki. Mechanic and Val Gardson, Jr. and Sr. respectively. Angaman with time again. Catch made. Now alongside McDonald on third down and three. Angaman throws too high and intercepted. Rashad Roberson picked it off. It went right through margin hooks. And into the hands of Roberson with a quick reaction by these interceptions. This ball obviously thrown just a little bit high, but when a receiver gets his hand on it, that ball's coming in a little hot. And Roberson just lucky to get that. But if you're a quarterback, you know that you better get your head on a swivel. One, two, three strikes, and oh. Ingeman goes for the haymaker on Stamenich. Got to like the toughness, but listen, Brett. Now. And the handoff to Island Harris. Yeah, yeah, Merlin was always a cheater. Play action fake. Ellis wants a touchdown. Goes deep. Has the touchdown. Kevin Coffey. For 205 pounds. When Ellis throws this ball, I thought it was overthrown. Of course, he knows a guy six foot four doesn't really even have to jump very high to catch a highly thrown ball. And Darius Wilson, a junior out of four, he feels much better physically than he has in years. And he says he plans to coach at least four more years. He's now 67. Ingeman with a man wide open. Pittman. One man to beat. And that one man saved the touchdown. Devon Simmons finally able to swing him down at the eight yard line into who was going to be a game in the game Simmons got stuck with his feet right here he was reading something in the middle I don't know what he was looking at but he 
moved up. Whenever a safety makes any move towards the line of scrimmage, your quarterback immediately looks for the deep post. Simmons saves himself from giving up the get a two to one edge in yardage, but BYU came out sizzling for 14 unanswered points to begin the third quarter. Only 66 tackles for Sweet last year for 99 two years ago. They stay on the ground with McDonald down to the goal line. Did they give him the touchdown? Apparently not. Yes, they do. Finally, the signal for a touchdown. Jaton Evans tried valiantly to college a JC guy and ended up leading the team in tackles and interceptions. Ellis in a key third down situation is going to run for it and has it. The die for good measure. Football at other positions. Nice cutback by Womack. Look out. Seven yards. The latest big play in a game that is in the cutback. Good blocking up front. Just a simple zone play. Fullback tries to get the cornerback and all of the backside push. It's the backside of that offensive line, Evan Robson and Brad Barnes. When the cutback comes, it's up to the backside guard and tackle to get their job done. BYU from its own 32, trying to set up a screen. Engelman finds Will Snowden. He finds running room and a first down out to the 43. Raquel eludes the tackle of Spruill and goes out of bounds at the 20. Engelman with the play clock running out. Throws close to another first down. Caught by margin hook. Since 1988, usually the quarterbacks don't go on an LDS mission. He throws short. Looked like Raquel might have been struggling to gain control. Well, Engeman's used to the bright lights. His dad, for many years, the manager of Marie Osmond, Carl Engeman, and his brother-in-law is Larry King. Larry King, the talk show host, is married to Brett's sister. Hello, Brett. Go ahead. Yes. Brett from Provo, you're on. Another huge third down and five. Quick pass to Regal, and he's close to the first down. Tackled by Rashad Roberson. The sophomores made a couple of big nine. Could be the key play of the ball game. McDonald has the first down, down near the six-yard line. Drive to tie or go ahead. Hang him in the play action pick to McDonald. Throws for a touchdown. Doug Jolly, the tight end. Involves a shark attack. Yeah, he Mexico. says it was a shark right. attack, but we figured out that wasn't true after a while. Ellis throws big first down. They convert the third and five. All right. Ellis wisely running the play clock down near zero. Under seven minutes left in the fourth quarter. An elusive run by Womack. Toughest up front as well. Here's the big third and one, and it'll depend on the marker. There's Lee again up from his safety spot. It looks like Harris is a yard short. They're going for it. And Harris didn't get it. Well, George Welsh, if folks in this part of the world have a criticism of him, it's been that he's been conservative over the years. I guess they forgot about all the winning while they were criticizing him in that manner. That's very unlike him. With a touchdown lead, kick him down, make him go 80 or 90 yards. Instead, they give the ball to the Cougars in UVA territory at the 49 after a huge stop. The legs of Harris, the fullback is Washington, but that's just good job by that middle linebacker getting in there and making Harris make a move before he got to the line of scrimmage. And it is not getting credit for the tackle, but a nice job by the senior linebacker plugging the hole. Boy, I'm really surprised, Ed. I thought for certain they'd punt. Well, he talked about changing around the organization, and maybe that's something he wanted to do is go for a little more aggressive style. Out throwing Engeman, staggering down for no gain. Soren. Approaching three and a half minutes left. Third down and four. McDonald. Appears to have the first down. He does a really nice job of letting his blocks develop. 
Cougars looking for the tying score. They have the screen set up against the pressure. McDonald, another first down inside the 20 and down at the 19-yard line. Great call. 435 yards passing now for Ingeman. Over the middle, caught by Pittman. They'll give him forward progress to the 12. 441 yards passing. McDonald gets the handoff, has a first down inside the 10. Down to the sixth. Terrific game. Under a minute to go now. Cougars looking for the tying score. Ingeman, end zone, touchdown! Margin hooks. Isn't that important? Here's Womack. They could use a great run back. He has a lot of room now. Antoine Womack out to the 39, fumbled it out of bounds. Reminiscent of their opener last year against North Carolina. Ellis throws to the sideline. Caught short of the first down. PAT. Third down and two. 30 seconds left. Ellis steps up, runs, first down. They'll stop the clock to move the chains, but then they'll get it going. So the camp. And they will run a play out of the shotgun. And Harris in the field goal range now, down at the 31-yard line. It'll be about a 50-yarder. From the right hash mark into a very light breeze. That kick is hooked wide. Had the distance, but he missed it to the left. And as we noted, five seconds left if Coach Edwards. Well, last year they didn't quite get all the way back to even from 21 nothing down against Virginia. This year they have. And a good addendum to the rules after the second possession from each team, they have to start going for two. Harris looked like a promising swing pass, but he bobbled Dean for a first down. They bring some pressure because the BYU defense flagged down, looked like a holding call. Ellis throws, and it is intercepted. Tyson Smith. So if it is a holding call against Virginia, and it certainly seemed to be, all BYU will have to do when it gets the ball right now is put any kind of score on the board, and the Cougars will win. And it is going to be holding the left tackle, Jermis Jones, got beat right from holding the snap. Offense, penalties declined. BYU now goes on offense. At the 25. All they need is a field goal to win, so they keep it on the ground, as you might expect, and McDonald is thrown for a one-yard loss by Monsanto Pope. 96 for BYU. The toss to Marcus Whalen has a hole. Has a first down inside the 10. Now they're in chip shot field goal range. Watchman to win it. And a timeout call. George Welsh so anxious to get off to a good start this season to erase the memory of that bowl game disaster against Illinois. This would be a devastating loss to open the year. 26 yard field goal to win it for Owen Potchman. And it is just good. He just did sneak it inside the left upright and BYU is a winner. Coming from 21 points down. Unlike last season against Virginia, this year the Cougars finished the job. Two great friends, two of the terrific coaches of their era. And Lavelle Edwards finally does have one retirement gift. His first ever win head to head with George Welsh. Chevrolet players of the game are Brett Engelman, the quarterback from BYU, threw for 447 yards, and Antoine Womack, who rushed for 160 for Virginia. In recognition of their efforts, Chevrolet will make a contribution to each university's general scholarship fund. Once again, the final score in overtime is BYU 38 and Virginia 35.